WKBN 27 First News starts now with breaking news. And good morning. It's now 6 a.m. on this Friday morning. I'm Dan Martin. We start with breaking news in Mahoning County where a crash on the Ohio Turnpike involving uh, four semi trucks is slowing traffic right now early this morning. I'm Lauren Wood. This happened about 2.30 a.m. in the eastbound lanes near mile marker 228. That's just south of Route 224 in Boardman. First News Weekend Morning Anchor Abby Schrader is live at the scene. She joins us with what's happening right now. Yeah, it all happened around 2.30 this morning, um, but since then, one lane has opened of I-80 just south of 224 in the Canfield area. But we'll set the scene for you and what happened. We have some video from earlier. It was a semi that had already been overturned and then at least three more cra uh, crashed as well. So right now, what we're seeing is there's still two semis in the left-hand side uh, off into the ditch that just ahead of us a little further. There's one also on the right side, but the, both lanes were closed for quite some time this morning, but a little over an hour ago is when they opened up the right hand lane, but going eastbound just near the uh, Route 7 exit on, uh, on I-80 here. But right now, hazmat crews are working because one of the trucks did spill some diesel fuel, so it's over in the ditch and they're working to get all of that cleaned up. We talked to the Canfield Fire Department, that's what they told us. And they also told us that one of the drivers of the truck that had already first crashed was actually outside of his truck when the other ones crashed into it. So they say he is very fortunate today, but we do know that one other driver was taken to say he's not sure about the extent of those injuries, but we are going to continue to talk with the officials here on scene and kind of find out what happened and what their next step are and also for when they plan to get both lanes open right here on I-80. But be sure to stay with us for the latest conditions and we'll have all those updates for you. But for now, live in Canfield, Abby Schrader, 27 First News this morning.